Shepard, hearing me? Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Okay, so... Yeah, a lot has happened. So now, Priority Earth. Interesting. Okay, so let's see what we got. Yeah, the Crucible. Uh, we know that the... Uh, uh, the catalyst is the crucible but reaper heart what is this after commander shepherd destroyed the collector base Cerberus spent months picking through uh radiated rubble for anything useful the human proto reaper the collectors were building lay in pieces but its incomplete core survived the power cell would have been capable of fueling a full-fledged reaper after studying the device Cerberus modified it to fuel the lucid man's base interesting okay so the alliance engineers believe they can use the core similarly to power the crucible. Interesting. Okay, so that we have that now, I guess. So we can uh, use it to power the crucible. So that's good, I guess. Uh, theater of War. I don't think we've actually seen this. Uh, so each conflict zone has a readiness rating that reflects its ability to contribute to the final battle. Left unintended, these zones can deteriorate and reduce the overall readiness rating. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is crazy. Did I actually never notice the war map? Um, hmm. Just hold on. Inner council space. This territory includes the Salarian, Turin, Volus, and Hanar homeworlds, as well as the Citadel, the heart of the council space. The Citadel re uh, receives a constant influx of diplomats, military officials, major corporate shareholders, and others who seek to do business at the seat of galactic governance. Council races provide peacekeeping ships that patrol inner council space, but they use diplomacy, uh, sorry, diplomacy or other peaceful means to settle most dis uh, disputes in this area of the galaxy. Okay. So I feel like maybe it's too late to do anything here. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so I pointed out like numerous times that a readiness rating was at 50%. Uh, but I guess I never really looked at the bottom right and uh, noticed war map. I'm not sure. Okay, well... It's all at 50% and it's all highlighted as red on the right there, which is probably bad. Uh, but it's not actually letting us do anything. Yeah, so we can click war assets and it brings us back here. But our effective military strength is pretty much maxed out, so that's good, I guess. All right, so hopefully we didn't really miss out on anything regarding the readiness rating, but who knows? Wow, we just got 55,000. I don't even know what we're gonna spend that on. Like, there's not really much to buy that we're gonna actually use at this point. We could buy some armor sets, but I seriously doubt I will actually be using them. <laughs> so much for Cerberus. All that's left now is Earth. You ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding the door. Uh, I think that's what you did, though. <laughs> like, I've literally never seen these two leave this room before. Damn it, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I hate this scan. Alright, let's go back.
I mean, I can understand, you know, visitors having to go through the scan, but why do I have to do it? <laughs> Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. You're a credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. Okay, cool. Commander? We had a little nice heart-to-heart -heart with Trainor. Uh, let's read our messages. All right, still kicking from a Grace Sato. Commander Shepard, just want to say how uh, in indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. Uh, after our ordeal securing the array base on Antarum, I know now I have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Gray Sato, System Technician, 3rd Grade. Okay, cool. Alright, let's touch base with Joker and Edie. And we'll, we'll also talk with the rest of the crew. I'm sure they have something to say. And I think... Hold on, let's check our... Actually, you know what? We'll check the journal afterwards. After we talk to everyone. Alright, what's up, Joker? He's literally drinking nothing. <laughs> you remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Tory inspector watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. Yeah, and you were right. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's gonna end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's gonna happen. You're gonna kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. Oh, yeah. And I'll be flying you there in style. All right, sounds good. All right, The Normandy Edie. is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Okay, I mean, I feel like that last one probably is going to help us the most. <laughs> How's your focus, Edie? Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? Definitely not. <laughs> Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. Alright, cool. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. Alright, cool. So, the Normandy is ready. Uh, I just want to make sure that everyone's mentally ready. I feel like they are, but who knows. Alright, let's uh, go down to the crew deck. Alright, let's see if anyone's in here. Yeah, so no, no one's ever in there. I don't know why I always check, but... At this point, it doesn't really matter. Alright, doesn't look like Tally's in here anymore, so... Good to know she's back, you know, on duty. Let's see if anyone's in here. Nope. Alright, let's go say hi to Ashley. Cerberus is well and truly gone. Look, I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? Never thought I'd see the end of Cerberus. Good riddance. We did some good over there. Yeah, okay, so she's pretty much hung over Commander. Cerberus right now. Alright, cool. So, yeah, Cerberus is gone. I mean, not really. The elusive man's still, you know, here. He's still, you know, trying to finally, you know, complete his plans, I guess. All right, let's talk You've to Chalk. Come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard, and good luck. Wow. So finally, Chalk has something to say. 
and it was nice. <laughs> yeah, we have. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Alright. Let's go talk to Garrus. But yeah, I mean, Chalk was kind of reminding me that our journey is about to end. Uh, that's that's crazy. And this is kind of, you know, reminding me that that Mass Effect 3 has a bad ending. Uh, or at least that everyone says that it's a bad ending. I have no idea what it is, So, but I'm excited to see. Uh, but since everyone's saying it's bad, it probably is. But, you know, I, I'm still hoping that it's pretty good. But who knows? Oh, look at that. Tally's here. All right, let's go talk to really Garrus first. You. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. <laughs> oh. And I'm okay with Wait, that. wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, Garrus, I'm sure he's fine with that. But when did this happen? Uh, I feel like they make an okay couple, but... I mean, like, you know what? Like, in Mass Effect 2, we technically had our chance with Tally, but we kind of squandered that. <laughs> But you know, I mean, if these two are good together as well, so that's fine. Kill us alive, Shepard. At least we finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do <laughs> the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. The Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. <laughs> And now it's yeah. our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wander about. Yeah. Kill us alive, Shepard. Alright, so Tally has absolutely nothing to Kill say. Kill us alive, Shepard. Anything else from not Garrus? Right <laughs> okay, not right now. I mean, if not right now, like, when, honestly? Like, we're about to go on our final mission. Okay, so let's go talk to Liara. Hopefully she has something uh, interesting to say. Uh, before we head over to Earth. The private messages terminal has new correspondence. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Liara first, How are though. you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go. But glad I'm here. And I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. <laughs> Stop me if I try for eight. Alright, yeah. So, seems like we Liara's this, ready. Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, we can. All right, so email from Captain A. Reynolds to Miranda Lawson. Uh, Miss Lawson, the Alliance wishes to express its gratitude for your assistance uh, with the information you've been sending us on Cerberus. We've been able to avoid ambushes they were setting up for our supply convoys. We'd offer you additional resources, but I understand you've uh, procured a Class F private fighter and joined up with former colleagues. I also understand that several Cerberus bases were lost after being attacked by a reported group of private special operatives of, known, uh, of no known affiliation. The Alliance cannot officially condone this kind of independent operation, nor do we actually confirm that these operations are taking place. Good luck, Ms. Lawson. But yeah, nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that they're happy that Cerberus is going down. And to be honest with you, like at this point, with the Reapers like at Earth, I mean, are we really going to, like, worry about politics and protocol? Like, it's all about taking down the Reapers at this point. Alright, do we have intel? We don't. Yeah. Okay, so anything from Liara? Alright, yeah. We can do this. Alright, so there's uh, a couple more people I want to touch base with. Uh, so let's head down to engineering. Alright, so let's touch base with Diana. Wow, she's not talking into her camera right now? I mean, 
I feel like a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, can we not even talk to her? <laughs> so now, even if we wanted to kick her off the ship, we could, we can't. Okay. All right, let's uh, talk to Adams and our engineers who... Are they back yet? Okay, good. They're back on duty. <laughs> Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, sir. Will do. All right, so it looks like uh, these two are done um, are done with their alone time together, so I guess we can Good talk luck to them with now. The assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. <laughs> Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. Then I wish I was joining you. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. All right. Good luck with the assault. The Normandy is ready to go, you. Commander. Get no, you war. don't. I've seen you shoot. And Commander. Fine. Then I wish I could it's shoot better. Such an then I wish I was joining you. Take Likewise, care. Gabby. Good you luck. too, Donnelly. And be careful. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. So they were kind of talking over each other, but that's fine. I think we got the message there. All right. Only two more uh, crewmates to talk to. All right, let's say hi to Cortez. Okay, yeah, is everything okay sure. with you? Sure. All right, well, I was hoping he had something to say, but doesn't look like it and actually we'll come back to that uh, let's talk to James first hey hey yeah he doesn't care that we're about to go on our suicide mission <laughs> but that's fine all right let's talk uh, check out the procurement interface and yeah we will buy this Uh, yeah, I think we'll buy that, but I actually want to check out everything else as well. Uh, should we buy this? I think, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and buy this. <laughs> so, Blood Dragon Armor, we can uh, also buy this. A uh, couple things from Kessa. Uh, we don't really need these guns. We do, however, need this, and wait, what was that again? Okay, so reduces weapon weight by 70. We don't really need that. Uh, Spectre requisitions. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think we've seen this before. So, uh, Delu Delume Core overlay, headshot damage plus 5%, weapon damage plus 10%. Yeah, we are buying this. Uh, I I was about to read that, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Cerberus encryption codes. Alliance code breakers are having difficulty cracking Cerberus encryption for a nominal fee. The Salarian Special Task Group is willing to sell encryption algorithms recovered from Cerberus engineers during the attack on Sirkesh because the sale violates protocol and risks political repercussions within the Salarian government. The seller has asked that uh, SDG's involvement be kept quiet. Instead, the data should be marked as discovered on the body of a Cerberus engineer whose equipment failed to self-destruct. Okay, so is this our uh, side mission? I think it is. And the uh, Wraith and the Paladin, we're not going to buy that. Um, yeah, we're not going to buy that. And finally, okay, so we have three armor sets we can buy. But actually, first, I want to actually check out Cerberus. Uh, Cerberus ciphers uh, to break Cerberus codes. Find the ciphers and deliver them to him at the Citadel Embassy. Okay, I feel like we probably missed this uh, at this point, but yeah. Alright, that's fine. Uh, but now, the question is, which uh, which armor do we want? I think we want uh, the collector armor just because it gives us plus 20% shields and health. Uh, what do the others give? 
This gives uh, shields 20% as well, but uh, there's an emphasis on power damage and power recharge. And we don't really use our biotic abilities all that much, so I think it makes sense to go with uh, the collector armor. And I think similar, yeah, the inferno armor also has power recharge and power damage, but it doesn't have health. So I think we'll go with the uh, the collector armor. Where was it? Yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. And yeah, I think that's good. Uh, let's check out our locker. All right, let's check out this uh, Delu Delu Delum Core overlay. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, so it reduces our power damage, but it, it increases our weapon damage and headshot, uh, which I think, I think that's a good trade-off. And we could, of course, uh, change to uh, not terminus, but I forgot what that looks like. Hold on. Oh right, this armor. <laughs> that was the very first one we bought, I think. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so health boost, shield boost, shield regen, uh, but it takes away our weapon, headshot, and melee damage. So I think we're going to go back to the N7. And yeah, I think that's good. So let's go ahead and save and exit. Uh, weapon bench, I, I think all the mods we have on so far are fine. I'm not really gonna tinker around with that anymore. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna upgrade this. Yeah, the, the guns that we mostly use have already been upgraded. There's no point spending money on all of any of this just because we're not gonna use it. So let's go ahead and close and uh, let's head to our captain's cabin. We haven't been there for a while. Alright, let's check out our eel. Where is it? Hopefully it's not eating our other fish. Although I'm sure that's probably possible. Oh, I think I just saw it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I feel like it's probably the biggest in this tank, so it's not going to eat, uh, eat any of our fish. Alright, private terminal, that's not... I mean, we've already, we've already read our messages. Oh, wait, we got a new one. So, this is from Diana Allers. Normal is the best revenge. Commander, I don't know if you're aware how much you mean to people, but I am. The things I see in the Battle Spaces mailbox could make a geth grow tear ducts. Page after page of people asking you to go save their mother's planet, or the home world they outgrew, or the mining colony they sank their fortune on, uh, into. They don't know what you can't do. Uh, they don't know that you can't do it all. They just know Commander Shepard beat a Reaper once and uh, can do it again. I know how they feel when I heard about uh, Beckenstein. It was like all the nerves in my body were cut, but I need to believe that this isn't the end. I need to believe that you're going to destroy the Reapers and I'm going to fl film it as it happens. And when the fight is over and my signal goes out on tight beam, people are going to come together from all over the galaxy. They're going to watch from their couches and they'll celebrate. And one day, they'll laugh again. The laughing part is important. I want you to make it all normal again, Shepard. Because that's the best revenge I can think of. Diana, P.S. If I end up making it out of this, but you don't, I'll make sure you get a hero's funeral and a Beckenstein's awake. Uh, Beckenstein wake. That's like an Irish wake, but not as sober and reserved. Alright. Alright, cool. So Diana wasn't really talking to us when uh, we went down to, uh, to talk to her, but she sent us a uh, nice email, so... So it's good that we read through that. Um, but yeah, let's head back to the CIC.
All right, let's check up on our journal and yeah, so we have our last two missions remaining and I think this one we won't be able to complete because I think I missed the ciphers uh, at some point. But we have priority Earth. The Citadel is now in orbit of Earth in the heart of Reaper controlled space. A final assault on Earth is the only way to deliver the Crucible to the Citadel and defeat the Reapers. Launch the assault on Earth when ready. Alright, so I think we're ready now, so let's go ahead and do it.